Hi, and welcome to the 10forums.com tutorials. This time we look into remote desktop connection in Windows 10. On the remote host computer, the one you want to connect to using remote desktop, you must first allow incoming remote connections. To do this, press the Win key plus X on your keyboard or right-click the Start button and select System from the menu. Click Remote Settings on the left and select Allow Remote Connections to this computer. your remote client Windows computer, the one you will use to connect to a remote host, search for remote desktop connection. Right click to pin RDC to start or taskbar or if you want to add an RDC shortcut to quick launch toolbar. Click it to start RDC. Type the remote host computer name or the local private IP address it has on your local network. Click connect if you want to connect using default options. If you want to edit the options for this connection, click show options. General tab allows you to say the remote computer name or IP address and username. If you want to start this connection simply by clicking a shortcut, click Save or Save As in connection settings. In Display tab, you can select a specific window size and the color depth for your remote session. Notice that the only way to set remote session resolution is to use this dialog. When connection is created, you cannot change the remote display resolution. Display settings on remote host will be disabled. Selecting full screen will open the remote desktop in display 1, the main display, also in multi-display systems. If you want to show remote session full screen in other than display 1, select that displays max resolution instead of full screen. Remote session will now open windowed in display 1, but you can move it to other display and maximize to full screen.
local resources lets you set how the audio of remote host is handled and which local client resources can be used by the remote host. Experience and advanced tabs have settings for connection quality and server authentication. These can and should be left as they are. Click connect to start a remote session. If there are no saved credentials, Windows will assume you want to connect using the same user credentials you are currently signed in on your client. Select it if the remote host has an existing user account with exactly the same credentials. If you connect using a Microsoft account, your email address will be the username. If you want to connect using other credentials, select Use another account and give the credentials. Click OK to connect. Notice that in case of using a local account to sign in to remote computer, you should use the complete username, computer name slash username. Using plain username will most often fail. Accept the security certificate warning by clicking yes. The remote desktop will now open in your chosen resolution. To end a remote session, you will find the Disconnect menu selection on Start menu's power options. You can also disconnect by closing the remote session window. To shut down, restart or hibernate the remote host, you must do it manually from command prompt, using one of the following commands. To shut down, shut down space hyphen s space hyphen t space x, where x is the delay in seconds. To restart, shut down 
space hyphen r space hyphen t space x to hibernate shut down space hyphen h no delay allowed with hibernate Important to remember, the user account used for remote sign-in to remote host must have a password set. It is not possible to remotely sign in to a remote host with user account which has no password. Current user on remote host will be locked out when a remote session starts. And when the current user on remote host unlocks the computer or signs back in, the remote session will be disconnected. 